Well, when you see all the snow this winter, you're likely thinking spring flooding. And when you think of spring floods, you may think of the Red River flood of 1997. Next, weather meteorologist Joseph Dames talked with a hydrolysist about why this year can't be compared to the past. Hidden in the snow. That amount of water out there, the fact that we'll have flooding is pretty much not in doubt. Is the certainty of running water. As the spring sun clocks in and the warmer days show up, rivers are expected to rise. Craig Schmidt studies water and its movement. He explains what will happen. This snowpack this year is so widespread. It's over the entire, basically the entire upper Midwest. So it's hitting every river basin, the Minnesota, the upper Mississippi, the St. Croix, the Crow, I mean, all of those. If they all start melting around the same time and they all come together, your main stem rivers are gonna actually have probably the biggest threat. It was the month of April. You know, the flood of 97 was definitely historic up here in the Red River Valley. And every year, everybody references back to it. Prior fall was very wet. The snowpack was off the charts. The ground was frozen. And a lot of rain was on the way. The results seen here, an extremely swollen Red River. Now, an April month just days away, the conversation circling back around. Grand Forks hydrologist Amanda Lee explains the differences this season compared to the past. Snowfall back then was well above normal for the winter season, and we are above normal now too, but we're still short of like 30, 40, 50 inches in some places from the snow we had back then. The bottom line is that every year is different. And for the Twin Cities, the sentiment is the same. A lot of it's really just going to depend on, though, what type of weather we get. And, you know, the end of March looks pretty favorable in terms of weather, but we don't know what April is going to be like yet. Minneapolis, meteorologist Joseph Dames, WCCO 4 News. The National Weather Service says that over the past seven decades, we've only seen between five and ten years with this much snow water on the ground.